Hi, I'm Dennis Hillman. I want to explain to you today a drill that you can use to get more consistent solid contact. One of the biggest flaws that I see in this game is that people lose the angle coming down and have the club bottom out too early. The bottom of the arc is two inches or even more before the golf ball, even with an iron. So let me explain what that means. Ideally, you want to maintain this wrist angle coming into the golf ball. This is stored up power that you can deliver it at the last split second. It's also the proper angle of attack so you, that you can get that ball turf contact. But too many people lose that angle early and the club bottoms out early. So you either hit it fat, but over time you know a fat shot's not a good result so you figure out how to miss the ground and then the club levels off and then you hit the ball thin a lot. So you struggle between fat and thin and don't get that consistent solid contact. So and another problem that people have is that they practice off of mats a lot and they don't get that feedback on where they're hitting the ground because the divot is such a great feedback tool that you can analyze to tell you how the club's coming into the golf ball and where it's hitting the ground. So what I've done is I've set up an alignment stick about three or four inches before the golf ball. So ideally we're not going to touch that. Okay, as I come into the golf ball I'm not going to have a problem hitting that alignment stick, but if I lose the angle early, I may hit it. It's not that thick, it's just a little bit of height, so you, over time you can maybe even sneak it up a little bit closer. If you go ahead and hit it, nothing will happen, you won't hurt yourself, but it does give you that feedback, and it's really, really useful, especially when you're practicing off of mats. Let me demonstrate. I got nice solid contact. As you can see, the ball was right here, okay, and then the divot goes for another three or four inches forward. So the bottom of the arc was even after the ball. That's the image you want to have, is that the arc is going to bottom out. I'm going to continue into the ground when I hit the ball for another few inches, and then it bottoms out and comes up. So bottoming out back here, really, is just no way to get consistent results. So you want to work on maintaining the lag, maintaining the angle into the golf ball, and getting that solid hit. And that alignment stick can give you the feedback to do it. So go ahead and work on that. Be sure to tune into my website at DennisHillman.com for more video tips and info on lessons in golf schools.